So what happens when we pull this lever? Something epic and awesome, I'm hoping. Let's see here. Completed. Find the source of the Dwemer automatons and shut it down. So did we just shut down the automatons then? Is that what we just did? Okay. Gorgak. Oh! What? Oh, there you are, friend. Oh, you're going ghost mode on me again, like last episode. <laughs> you are definitely alive, aren't you? You're not a ghost, you're not a spirit. My orc spirit come to guide me. Well, anyway, my friends, welcome to the next episode of Skyrim Life as an orc. If you remember, in the last episode, we delved deep into the Lost Ruins, plundering many mounds of treasure to add to our chief's hoard. And we're very rich now. And upon returning to our mine stronghold, we discovered that the miners had broken through one of the walls and discovered a Dwemer Undercity. And now it's up to us to explore it and see what tr more treasures lie beneath the earth under our stronghold here. So I say, without further ado, we press onwards and see what, uh, oh yeah, it's a little bit glitched here, but uh, and that's the nature of mods, but as you can see, they punched through, the miners punched through the uh, the wall there, revealing, if Borgak would step aside, uh, revealing the Dwemer city beneath, yes. Oh, I think I hear, oh, there's enemies up ahead, who goes there? Oh, it's a spider. <laughs> a simple worker spider, nothing more, easily dealt with. Um, what else is down here? There's got to be some more foemans around here, right? So what is this place? It's leading us to Chief's Sanctum. <gasps> oh, we can have our own sanctum, my friends, our very own Chief Sanctum. Oh, that'd be a good place to uh, hide away to. Oh, there's another spider there. I found Beast. Uh, I was just going to say that the, the Chief Sanctum will be a good place for us to, to hide away to for rest and reprieve when we just don't want to deal with the troubles of the surface world. Looks like we're going to have a... Oh, what's this thing? A Dwarven Blister? I've never seen one of these things before. My word. Perish. Huh? Shockwave. Oh, no shockwave. Okay, no shock... Oh, Borgat! Oh, my... Oh, my word! Oh, are you okay? Oh, my. You got hit. Borgat got gutted by the thing. Shockwave. There we are. That's what I'm on about. Borgak, Yes, she's ready for revenge. There we are. Boom. Borgak, you okay, my wife? My dear? Oh, my. She got planted right in the gut with that blister. By the gods, my Malakath. She's okay, though. Where does this lead? Is this the lift to the surface? What's this? Vault! <gasps> By Malakath, a vault. What treasures lie within? My word. Okay. Okay. Actually, should we pay a visit to the vault first before we pay a visit to the chief sanctum? Yeah, I think we should. The <laughs> Listen, once I see vault, my uh, my interests are peaked. My lips are hungry for the possible gold, silver, and gems that lay beneath the earth here. Let's go. Yes, my friends. <laughs> Oh, it's gone very quiet down here. Is this the vault? It looks empty right now. I guess we have to fill it. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping there would be treasure waiting for us here. But I guess it's a place for our treasure. Well, there is a note that lay on this table here. The vault. Okay, let's read this. Hello, Chief. Weird room, right? At first, I thought it was pointless. But Uglaus did some earth scrying behind the walls. And the entire place is carved from solid bedrock. If not for the hole in the ceiling, we'd spend a whole year digging our way in. I don't know what the dwarves kept down here, but whatever it was, it must have been important. Shut down the lift and nothing goes in or out unless you want it to. It's a little inconvenient for ordinary treasure, but if you find anything rare or priceless, this is the place for it. Now I know you probably want even more furnishings and displays for your new vault, but we're already stretched thin as it is, and I'm way behind on our mine quota. I don't think I can manage any more upgrades until you get me some slaves. Oh my word, okay. Um... Can we get orc brethren to join us willingly? Do we have to enslave people? Like, I would... I, I think as a, as a confident, uh, inspiring, you know, leader, I could get orcs to, to, to kind of mine down here without forcing them to. Um, I guess we'll see, though. Let's take the lift back up, because I believe... That, oh, my torch just ran out. There is nothing down here for us. Uh, let me just quickly equip a new torch. Yeah, this place is empty and uh, is waiting to be filled by us. But what about Borgak? Look at that gash from the ballista. She's been pierced. She's been punctured. I hope you're okay. Let's get out of here, my friends. <laughs> right then, so that's the vault explored. Let's pay a visit to the Chief's Sanctum. It's going to be our own little sanctum. Can't wait to see what's inside. But what's actually down here this, this way? Oh my, what is this? What? It requires key. I do not have the key. Uh, is this like a prison cell? What is this? Is this like a dungeon or something? What on earth? And this just leads... Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a mannequin in there. Oh, is that like a storage room for like armor armor and weapons and things? Okay. Right then, let's pay a visit to the Sanctum. That's this. This is where it's pointing us to. Chief Sanctum, here we go. 
Oh my, this is a sanctum indeed, and there's already a lot to see here. What have we got down here? We've got an alchemy table. Oh my word, we've got an atronach, a caged atronach of our own, have we? I don't know why this is here, um, or why it's been kept here, but let's open the door. Oh, there we are. And it's completely non-hostile. I don't know why we're keeping it, but hey, it's there. Why not? I don't, I don't see why not. Alchemy enchanter, okay, cool. Workbench, anvil to forge things. Just storage, okay. Um, a simple bench. What's down here? Oh, a dining table. Oh, look, a dragon skull. A frost troll and a bear. Trophies, I guess. Um, right, and then what's down? This is... That's the lift that leads to the surface, I'm guessing. Smelting supplies there. What's down this way? What's this? What's that hissing? What on earth? Wait, have we got our own hot tub? We've got our own hot tub. What on earth? What... Fertile soil to plant something, more more storage, soaps and towels. Hang on a sec, this... What, uh, do we really need this as chief? As an orc chief, this is... This stuff will make us soft friends. We don't want to pamper ourselves with fine soaps and, and, and silks. And, and spiced wines. What is this? This will make us soft and weak. We're a chief. We, we can't be living down here. I mean, it's kind of nice though, but... What is this? Can we actually do anything with this? Oh, activate valve. Um, does that even do anything? I, I don't know if that did anything. Right, um, okay then. Interesting. There's some salts here. Fire salts. Yeah, this place is going to make us soft and weak if we spend too much time down here, my friends. Look at this. Cushions. Fine cushions and silks. What is this? Chessboard? We're a, ch we're a chief. We don't need this. What's in the dresser here? Not nothing much. Right, um, yeah, this is a bit too, uh, these are, these are a, bit, a bit too many comforts, I think, for us. But anyway, what's this on the table? It is a Bile Gulch Ruins key. Okay. That's a very thick key. Right, oh, let's grab the key. Um, find the master key to access the surface lift and holding cells. Okay, so they were holding cells back there. I guess we can quickly pay a visit to the holding cells, see what's up. Oh, wait for the mine crew to finish furnishing the gatehouse. Wait, where's the gatehouse? I didn't even know we had a gatehouse. Okay. I guess the miners will furnish that at some point. Uh, let's open this. Oh, there we are. Okay. Open with the ruins key. Okay, this just looks like yeah, a mannequin place to, to store things. Right. Oh, this mannequin's off its pedestal, though. Get back on there. Oh, so is this one. Oh. Where's our throne? Um, yeah. I mean, this place is kind of cool, I guess. Um... I don't know, I feel like the Lost Stronghold is a bit cooler, uh, the underground place there. Like, that, that would serve as a sanctum much more than this place, I think. Um, oh, what was that? Someone just fell through the ground there. Oh, it was a wolf pelt. And what's this? Child's doll. Oh, no. The implication. What does this mean? Was there a child being kept down here? That's awful. Eating dog meat. There's a Nord Warhorn here. Alright, let's let's um, let's get out of this joint, shall we? Let me just get my last torch. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not certain I'm going to be vibing down this place, like, that much. Uh, it's a bit of a nuisance to get down here, and, yeah, I don't really want to... There isn't much reason for me to be down here, to be honest. Uh, let's uh, activate the lift, shall we? Right, here's the lift. I'm guessing it's the same one we've seen from the surface. Uh, yeah, let's just jump in, shall we? Mm. Well, here we are. It is indeed the same lift. It's a nice, crisp evening here. The stars are in the sky. We feel comfortable. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, did my companions just go down again? What are they playing at? Why did they go down? I wonder if we can now unlock this place here. The tower, or whatever it was called. What's this here? Bar Gulch Tower. Nope, it still requires a key that we don't have. I don't know how we get our hands on that key then. Um, there wasn't another key down there, was there? I think we've got the only one, so... I, I don't know. Although, this mod is very incomplete. Uh, so... I doubt we're ever going to be able to get the key to that place. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of features about this Become Orc Chief mod that are just incomplete. I don't think the um, the mod author finished it, and I don't think he's planning to either. Because uh, I can't seem to get any of the miners to actually do anything. Like, I can assign miners to the mine, but they never actually do anything. It's weird, like... The quest said that wait for the miners to furnish the gatehouse, but they never will. If that makes sense, like, I had to disable a part of the wall to get access 
to the Dwemer mines because I waited 100 days and they didn't mine out the wall. So, yeah, I, this mod is very incomplete. I think this is about where it ends in terms of uh, building our stronghold. We're going to have to find orcs our own to bring back here. And, uh, yeah. Oh, Borgak's back. Is she looking down? Where's uh, Gorbash? Did he just go back down then to the ruins? And, uh, oh, yeah, I don't know where Gorbash has gone. <laughs> he's, a bit, he's been a bit funky since he got back. Maybe him nearly dying has uh, warped his mind somehow. I'm not entirely sure. But we should probably hit the Chief's Hut and go to bed in a minute as uh, we're getting pretty tired. And we have to enact the next stage of our plan come morning, which is to head out and find more Orc Brethren to bolster our forces here. As we have a few Orc friends here, but it's not enough to build an army, is it? I mean, we've got maybe a skirmishing party uh, at best, a small war band maybe your next fight I mean we can definitely pillage victory. villages and things but it's not an army if a true army attacked us they they would they would win I mean we would they would suffer many losses against our great warriors and me as a chief but we would not be able to hold them back for that long and they would ultimately overcome our defenses and slay us so we need orc brethren and my friends Skyrim just doesn't have many orcs I could go to all the orc strongholds and see if anyone wants to join me there but even then it'll only be a handful of orc warriors so I my friends need to head somewhere back back to where it all began for me I have, where I haven't been since I was a child and that is Orsinium that is right come morning we branch out into the world with Borgak and Gorbash if he's willing to join us and we will head to Orsinium the land of the orcs, where we will find many brethren willing to join our ranks. We'll give them promise of land and a plentiful game and treasure if they come and join our Bal Gulch mine stronghold. So, let's hit the hay as we have a big day of traveling tomorrow as we're about to enter Orsinium. And uh, honestly, I have no idea what's going to await me in Orsinium. I'm excited. I have no idea. I'm going in blind. We shall see. Oh, my last torch is burnt out just in time. Let's jump inside, shall we? Right, and oh, who's this? Uh, oh, this is my my fifth wife. My fifth and maybe not final wife, but definitely my latest wife. Um, I think, I hope Borgak's not too jealous, um, as I made yet another new wife soon after marrying her. <laughs> and oh, look, Gorbash is back. Well done, friend. You sit down for a while. Enjoy your stay here in the Chief's Hut. Oh, it's storming outside as well, so it's very cozy. Right then, let us sleep our night away for a humble few hours, shall we? Oh, someone just exited our door there. I don't know who that was. Oh, it must be our wife, our fifth wife there. Right, we are hungry. Oh, are you awake and feeling your lover's comfort? Oh, Borgak. Well, which one was it? I'm not sure. Maybe both. <laughs> Maybe both. But it's probably Borgak, right? Um, Chief's personal things. Is there anything we need from here? I don't think there is. It's just kind of our treasure that we're storing right now. Um, let me see if I can store anything else in here. I think we have enough gear on us. We've got our weapons, our axes, and our chief's armor. So we should arrive to Orsinium with uh, a lot of respect as uh, we're dressed in good chief, chief, war chief garbs here. Although I'm not sure if word has reached Orsinium of our deeds. I mean, I wouldn't imagine they would. Uh, we only took over like a, a small stronghold. Uh, although maybe the, the king, the orc king, uh, knows of all the chiefs in Skyrim. Although I'm not sure. It's still storming outside, so let's, uh, let's jump out, shall we? Oh, it's not raining, so I guess it was a bit of thunder, and that was it. Um, shall we make ourselves sick again by drinking some water here? We have no choice. We'll, we'll chance getting sick. Let's drink from the orc water and please don't get sick. I don't think I'm sick. That's very good. Nice. Awesome. Right then. It looks like I'm going to be saying goodbye to the... Oh, are you okay, wife? Hunt wife, are you okay? Oh, your my word. Be sharp uh, and your prey oh, fresh. She on patrol. About your patrol. Okay. Yes. Um, All right then. No, I guess nothing. Okay. This better be good. About yes. your patrol. Nothing. Okay, yeah, so this is another sort of the incomplete mod at work. Uh, yeah, the mod kind of ends here in terms of the become all chief. So we're going to go out into the world and do our own our own way now, which we can do. But uh, yeah, you can't really do anything else with the with the wives or anything or the companions. It's a I bit of a shame. Oglash. Oh, that's not Oglash. That's Slozer. She just sells me stuff. Okay, plenty. Of, look at this game we've been hunting. Look at all this game. Plentiful amounts. I think this place will be in good hands for, upon my departure. I have many wives to look over the place, and I have many warriors to defend it. Very good. Uh, I'm going to bring Borgak, though. Uh, and I'll probably bring Gorbash as well. Why not? Have them both with me. 
My sworn shields. Very good. Let's uh, pay a visit to our surrounding lands before we head off then, shall we? See what uh, see what's up. Look at this. We've got, we got goats and chickens. So we're raising livestock and we've got plentiful game as well. I think this place is good enough for any uh, orc from Orsinium. Or, uh, Orsinium. I mean, look at this valley. Look how like ripe and plentiful this is. I mean, we really are living in like the best orc stronghold. Just look how like I don't know. Look how fertile this valley is and green with trees and crops and forageable goods and and game, wild game and everything. We'll never, we'll never be wanting for game out here, that's for sure. And oh my word! Speaking of game, by the gods, I have never seen that many in Skyrim. Okay, I think we just ran into a herd of elk here. Look at this. By Malakath, we are blessed. Just as I made mention of the of the ripe game in this valley, there comes a herd of mighty elk. Luckily, I don't need to hunt it right now. I've got plenty of meat on me, so uh, I'll let these guys scatter and populate uh, our lands. Look at this. Yes. If I could bring word of this alone to the orcs in uh, Orsinium, they would come for the, the game alone. Like, our bellies will never be hungry, that's for sure. As long as we have bow and arrow... To hunt with, we'll never go hungry. This valley has been good to us. Look at this, just so much offering that nature is giving us. I'm actually dropping a few frames, that's how many elk there are <laughs> around here. I'm just dropping a few frames here. Right, let's uh, journey down this way. Oh, look, there's a hunter's camp here. Uh, I think I'll, I'll let them be. Um, oh, they're firing off arrows. They're not firing at me, are they? Oh, here they are. How many elks are you, are you going to kill? If you kill, kill more than that one elk, I'm going to... Uh, have to put you down for over hunting, I'm afraid. This is the end for you. That's not hunting, that's poaching if you uh if you're gonna start overkilling that elk. I'll let you kill one. And then I have to put you down, wood elf. You can't hide from me. Are you gonna have to try and kill another one, are you? In that case, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it. There is no overhunting in these lands. The balance must remain. The equilibrium of elk. Thought I heard something. Is she gonna start killing more elk? Who's she firing at? What's she firing at? Yeah, she's overhunting. She, she's, she's overhunting the elk. Stop! I had to put you down. There's no reason for this. You've already slain two elk. You've got one elk here, and you just slew another one up here. Like, what are you? Are you a menace to society? Like, why are you killing all the elk? Wood elves, man. They just want like all the bones and stuff, don't they? Ah, oh, was that like a green-packed elf? I wonder. It was like not cutting down trees and stuff. That's why, they need, that's why they need all the animal product. But you already slew, slew two full-grown elks. That's more than enough for one hunter. Like, let's just take these skins so they don't go to waste, shall we? Like, I kind of... I had to do that, you know? I had no choice. Let me take the venison as well so it doesn't go to waste. Do you know what? We may as well uh, field dress as well and skin it. Why not? Just so it doesn't go to waste. That wood elf slew it. For no reason. Skin pelt, please. There we are. Oh, deer hide fine. Look at that. A fine hide, my friends. Indeed. Look at that. <sighs> Very good. Listen, I was more than happy to have the wood elf upon my lands hunting, as long as they didn't overhunt, which, after slaying two elks, they decided to slay another. Uh, yeah. We're not going to exterminate the whole valley, please. What have you got on you? May as well take this so it doesn't go to waste. Elk hide. Look, you've been, you've been poaching hawkers and elks. You've got more than enough. You've got tusks and ice wolf pelts. Right, well, I'm sorry. Uh, your body will feed this land. <laughs> your body is now part of the land. That's uh, that's fine. I guess we'll loot their camp as well. This counts as spoils, I guess. <laughs> we'll, we'll field dress this guy as well. Take all he has to offer. Why not? If you're completely warm, that's very good. Let's skin pelt. Please, give me another fine pelt. That'd be amazing. Yeah, another fine pelt. Look at that. Very good. Awesome. Oh, this is stealing. I don't really want to steal. Nothing worth stealing anyway. Uh, some arrows there. Okay, like they had a nice little camp here. I would have let them be, but they were just slaying too many of our animals. The hunter takes what he needs. No more, no less. Right, hello elks. I'll leave you in peace because I do not need you right now. And what's this cave here? What? Oh, is that a savage necromancer upon our lands? Who goes there? <laughs> Slay the foul beast. Oh yeah, we cannot have necromancers upon our land. Orsinium must wait for now. As uh, Look at this. Defilement and corruption upon our lands. Our stronghold lies only there. We cannot have this. Right, what's uh, potions of soldiers? Let's enter, shall we? 
A true orc chief protects his lands and does not allow an army of darkness to form upon his doorstep. What is this? Oh, another necromancer. Get him, Borgak. Get him. That's right. Yes. <laughs> yes, my friends. My companions. Slay the beast. Yes. Well done. Oh. Out of the fire, friend. Out of the fire. Gorbash, out of the fire. Please. Through the fire and the flames we carry on. Right, what's this guy got? Oh, a human heart. I'll rip out your heart. As prize, as trophy for my hunt. Yeah, we cannot allow... Um, oh, there's a novice, dead novice conjurer here. Okay. We cannot allow uh, yeah, death and defilement to reach our stronghold. This is just us kind of policing our lands, I guess. Making sure everything's kosher. All right. Oh, skelly. Oh, be careful. Oh, you set off the, the trap there. Very good. Right. Awesome. Watch out, my friends. Yep, so there's already some dark creatures down here. Skeletons and necromancers. Let's uh, clear up the rubbish, shall we? Oh, there's a... Uh, oh, another skelly. Oh, my. Oh, watch out. Oh, watch out, friends. Stay back. Let the fire burn for a bit, shall we? Okay, that way that should be safe now. There's another oil vase here. There's so many of them. Look how many vases there are of oil. Well, let's slay the skeever. Huh? Oh, my. I just don't want to get bitten by skeevers. They give you, like, horrible diseases. If they have a chance to. What is this place, then? Just under our nose this whole time, there's been, like, a necromancer situation. We cannot stand for this. Oh my. Oh, there's a fire mage. Oh, there's a lot of mages, actually. That's a charge, friends. That's a charge. Oh my, they just killed themselves on their own trap. Ha! <laughs> yes. Borgak, watch out. Do not fall for the trap again. Huh? Oh, is everyone okay? Oh, Gorbash is down. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. Huh? Ah. Uh. Adept fire mage. Very good. All right, they, a lot of them just kill themselves on their own trap. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. Gorbash is back on his feet. Very good. Um... Is there anything worth taking here? Oh, there is a chest here. Show me the treasure. Oh, a few log picks, nothing more. Right, uh, did those guys have anything upon their bodies? The guys who killed themselves? Let's see here. Oh, look, he's got some Dwemer armor. Dwarven mage unarmored. Okay. A spell tome as well. And what about you, apprentice fire mage? Another staff to our collection. Watch out, don't step on the trap again, please. Oh, is that a sack of coin? There was a sack of coin there. Waste not, what not. I'll leave no shillings behind. Oh, there's this guy as well. Oh, another another staff. Okay. Not that we really use them, but they're, they're valuable. Right, we'll start this way then. Wooden door. Oh, goes ever on and on. Oh, there's another there's another mage down there. Let's get the, let's get the rush on them, shall we? I'm not gonna know what's hit them. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna know what hits me apparently. Charge! Huh? Ah. Shockwave time! It's shockwave time. Huh? Boom! Oh. Shockwave works. Uh, uh. Conjurer Adept, okay. Oh, do you know I should be looking. I should be looking for a roll of paper in all this, shouldn't I? I must not forget my minor quest, my secondary quest of finding a roll of paper. Conjurer Adept, okay. Very cool. Nothing much. Oh, what's this? Oh, just some black mage robes, okay. Um, oh, they had a prisoner down here. My word. Friends, do not push me into the cell, please. Be gone. Oh, my, they had a guy sleeping in a, in a puddle of oil. Oh, my friends, they keep pushing me into things, and... Uh, oh, look, we've got a roll of paper here! Yes! Finally, a roll of paper. We found one. Yes! My friends, we found a roll of paper. This is amazing stuff. They had one here. Finally, some, some necromancers actually are using paper to study their, their tomes. Oh, what's this? Oh, let's, let's, let's trigger this trap, shall we? There we are. That's been triggered. And we can take the treasure freely without worry. Danger. Uh, oh, there's a satchel here. Oh, okay, we'll take it. <laughs> Elven Warax, puny Elven Warax, no thank you. We'll leave that behind to rot in the darkness. Um, right, cool, we've got a roll of paper now, which is amazing. Oh, let's take that soldier, get away, get it, take it. Ow. Yeah, we've got a roll of paper now, which is awesome. And oh, there's a trapped uh, thing there. Uh, I'm not entirely certain of what else we need to make the water skin, but we're one step closer at the very least, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's another chest here. Yes, please. Oh, it's locked master. My word. This could be... Oh, there we are. Already broken. Very good. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, so close. So close, no matter how far. Couldn't be much more from the heart. There we are. Finally. Finally, we're in. And we found really nothing of value. Cool. A few enchanted Dwemer things. Epic. A waste of time and money. Right, then, let's delve deeper. I hope we've slain all the foulness. There might be... No, there's probably a few more, right? Yeah, there's, an, there's yet another sanctum within this. Right, okay. Huh? Ah, get away, jar. Ah. Oh my, the ethereal jar. 
immune to all. Oh, there we are. <laughs> I was gonna say immune to all damage. Oh, oh my. Oh, get away, jars. Oh, ah, oh, there we are. Shockwave. <laughs> right, let's open the iron door. And oh my, a foeman atop his. What is that? Oh, oh, they're powerful indeed, aren't they? Oh, apprentice. Ah, oh. oh, just two apprentices. Where is your master? Wait, was that an orc? Wait, was that an orc I saw before my very eyes? Uh, no, it wasn't. It's an elf. So I think it's a wood elf. So I wonder where their so-called master is. As I found nothing but novices and apprentices down here. I wish to know the evil doer who leads you, so I may slay him and ensure the safety of my peoples. We cannot have necromancers around here. Bring the unusual. Oh, we just found the first unusual gem. Can't wait to not do that quest in this series. Right. More treasures? Yay! The chest that I don't have to lockpick. Amazing. Ooh, orcish armor. They better not have stolen it from our peoples or killed one of our own. That will not do for us. Right. I'm sorry for the victims. I cannot save you for you were already dead. Um, right then. Oh, there's some fire socks here. Let us get out of this joint, shall we? Still waiting for the master to pop out and. <gasps> By the gods! <laughs> Talk about rolls of paper, my friends. We'll never, we'll never want for rolls of paper ever again. By the gods. Okay. All, in one fell series, all the paper has appeared to us. <laughs> so long we were looking for rolls of paper, and it decided they just decided to bombard us in one big pile of rolls of paper. Look at this. We'll take it all. We only need one, but we'll take it all anyway. I love... Because I was looking for rolls of paper so long, like, seeing that many... It's like finding like gold bars, but they're really like worthless after like, getting just one of them. But because I made them have value to me, they look valuable when I see them. Right. Oh, there's a bit of garlic there as well. Cool. Very cool. Right. I can't wait to make my water skins now. I think I'll do that when I get to Orsinium. Oh. So yeah, there we are. We've slain everyone now. It looks like there is no one left uh, here. So yeah, I don't, I don't know where their masters are, but they're not here. That's fine. That's fine with us, I think. Maybe they're mar maybe we'll find their master one day. We'll leave the corpses as a message to him, killing all his disciples and acolytes. Or acolytes. Right, very good. Let's get out of this joint now and head our way to Orsinium. Oh, there we are, my friends. Another successful day as Orc Chief, defending our lands and our brethren. Our uh, friends can now rest. Rest soundly. Oh my, what's this? Oh, that's just the, the dead body, right? <laughs> Uh, our, our brethren can rest easy now with the threat of darkness and uh, decay from the necromancers gone. Very good. Right then, I say it's now time for us to hit up Orsinium. It will be a sadness to leave our beautiful lands here, but uh, we come back with great purpose and an orc army at our back, which will be very fun indeed. So, if we come west, just west of Dushnikgal, the stronghold we started our adventure at as a measly underling, a peon if you will, uh, we return there to head to Orsinium, the place where we are from, where we're all orcs are from, but I have not been since I was a child. Let's go. Oh, I'm hungry, thirsty, and could use a nap. Well, sleeping can wait, but I can eat some trail rations while I'm here, why not? Oh look, some old friends, look at this. Gothrock, we return home, friend. Oh, sorry, Gor Gorbash. I'm Gothrock. What am I on about? <laughs> right. I help oh, my who are you? Arab with the hunt. Look for it. All right. Bring much okay. Brother Uma okay, I can't. I can't. Warrior. I wonder if there's any of these that I can bring to my my tribe. Can I? No, I can't. Uh, these are just smiths. The mines are nearby. You bring me. Yeah, I can't. I'll give you coin. I can't bring any of these uh, to join me. I work the That's a shame. Oh well. The chief here is. As far as I'm aware, is okay. He seems like a sound guy. May your next fight bring you victory, friend. Although I wouldn't mind uh, claiming your your wife here as my own. Mm -hmm. I am Borgook's favorite wife. Okay. He my beauty should be praised. Well, this you would stand you would stand nothing against my uh, my wife, my favorite wife, Borgak. Shall be Borgak. I think Borgak would take the lead there. That's for sure. Right then, I say let's quickly eat something. Oh, actually no. Let's see if we can craft a water skin before we do head out, actually. We may as well. And we can indeed. We have everything. A lockpick for some reason. Roll of paper, tundra cotton that we picked up preemptively a few episodes ago. And there we are. Let's make four of them. Why not? And fill that with water aplenty for our travels, shall we? 
I'm sure uh, Orsinium has plenty of water sources, but I'm going to come down here quickly and fill from the stream that we've drunk from many times living here. After all this, oh my, there's a bear there. He just slaughtered a goat. Okay, okay, he's eating the goat. I'll allow him to eat. Will this bear allow me to pass, or will he stand in my way? Oh, do I, do I have to slay this bear, do I? I do indeed. Okay. Oh, oh my. Oh, no, I've got bone break fever. No, please. Oh my, what? Okay. <laughs> what a dragon stuff swooping down upon me like that. Okay, let's lead the dragon away from our um, friends at the stronghold there. Let's slay the giant down this way, I think. Oh no, please don't attack the stronghold. Oh no, is that dragon going to attack the stronghold? I think it is. Oh no. Come, friends. Gorbash, your peoples. Your peoples are in danger. Oh no, it's killing. Oh, it's killing the stronghold. No! Chief! Is it, everyone's okay. Okay. Please survive. Defend the lands. That's it. Come on, Chieftain. It's your time. It's your time to show you're worthy. Come on. Fight the dragon. Yes! Kill him. Kill the dragon. Slay the beast. Slay the flying beast. Come on, Chief. Ah, what's going on? Why are they attacking me? What did I do? Here, here. Just gold. Take the gold. Come on. Fight with me. Listen, I think I accidentally attacked someone. What a mess. Oh, they're killing the wise woman. The wise woman just died. The wise woman just died. Slay the, the foul beast. Okay, the chief did it. Oh, no. I've never seen such a thing. Chief, your wise woman is dead. And so is... Who's this? Oh, no. So is the smith. In all my years, no. I'm so angry. Ah! Oh, the rage in me. Mabal and Garol, but they're both dead. Slain by a dragon. Chief, are you okay? Go away. Now. I'm sorry, like, I think he's up... Oh, I think I accidentally attacked someone in that fight, you know? Oh, you're still alive. It's really dead, then. It is really dead, but so are your... So are, like, your smith and your wise woman, like, the most valuable people of your tribe. I'm guessing this was the chief's forge wife as well, which is a shame. My word, oh, officer, we'll not take anything from the corpses, but... I will leave the chief to bury his own dead. I'm sorry, but I have to move on now. Or Sinim awaits. If I find anyone who's willing to fill the spot for you, I, I will, but... I make no promises, Chief. I think he... Yep, yeah, yeah they're, 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 just, they're just they're just too upset. Look at that. He, he just screamed. He just... Oh. That, that was a blood-curdling scream. Okay. This, uh, this tribe, this stronghold, just suffered great loss there today. My word. I'm so sorry. Oh, there's a contingent of... Um, what are you doing here? And his before him. I'm still hearing the screaming. Doing the, the screaming of... Oh, that's awful to hear. I'm literally hearing the chief's grief. He's he's going to crack some skulls tonight, that's for sure. My word. Right, let's go fill our skins then, shall we? Right, there should be... Yeah, here it is. Plenty of water running fresh here. Right, if we just dip... Can we dip here without being sucked away? Can we? I don't think we can, actually. Let's, um... Let's jump here. I think we can fill our skins here. That should be good. Oh, oh, you're wading in the water with me, friend. Okay, let me just go get my skins. Water skin, we will fill with river water. We need to go boil that at some point. Maybe we'll make a fire once we reach um, Orsinium and uh, boil that up. Right, let's continue on our way then, shall we? I believe that's the pass to Orsinium just up there. So let's go, shall we? I feel tired. Right, I'll leave these guys in peace. They're not harming us at all. So I, th I think we journey up this way, right? Oh, look at that rabbit hopping along. Look at that. My god, the speed. The pure speed of that dude. Yeah, I've never actually seen this mod before, this or this Orsinium mod, so I have no idea what to expect once we get there. I'm hoping there's loads of orcs that we can like recruit and stuff, although I'm probably just kind of freeballing this. I'm not entirely sure what's going to meet us once we get there, or, or how like it's going to look. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of just got this mod on a whim. Um, oh, let's ignore that bear if we can. I don't want to fight another bear. And, oh, who's this fella up here? Hello there. Is this a mage guy. Oh, what's this? An aspiring mage. What's this guy? Oh, there's an enemy up ahead. Oh, what's going on? Oh. Um, are you guarding the gates to Orsinium? What's going on? Someone's launching arrows. What's this? Oh, my. An orc. Oh, my. What, what do you... Are these the guards? Are these the orc guards to, uh... Why are they fighting me? I'm a, I'm a fellow orc. They lie on the passage to Orsinium. Why are they fighting me? Ah, staff is useless. 
I don't, I'm useless. I don't understand. So what's going on here? Yeah, look, they got... Are these just hunters? Like, what's going on? Strange brew. Okay. I'll take that. Oh, there's another orc. Oh, my. Oh, my friends are slaying them. Oh, Borgak. Oh, my. Gutted the guy. Look at that. Oh, you just hit Borgak there, friend. Be careful. There's another orc came in. Bushwhacked us. What are you doing, friend? Oh, or at least I thought it was. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, you don't know what you're doing, friend. You don't have to tell me that. See, my grandfather was a wizard. Okay. My father wouldn't talk about him much. But I found some of his... That's, that's After that, I thought I was turning I'm not, into a... I'm not interested in your mage pursuits. Um, they just laughed at me. Give me that staff before, before someone gets hurt. Go wow. on. I don't think so. Okay, then. Move on. I don't care. Go, like, move on your way, then. Orsinium's not for you, so... Do not try and enter Orsinium, human, or you'll be slain. Uh, right. You a new life. Is he trying to raise the dead orcs now? We can't, uh, we can't have necromancers around here. Gooby, gone! Sorry, friend. <laughs> I had to be done. No aspiring necromancers here, please. Stuff of reanimation, yeah. Look at that. Right, I wonder why these orcs attacked us then, a fellow orc. Like, they saw three orcs. What's going on in Orsinium? Is something up? Is there some kind of power struggle or something? I don't know. Right, well, they've been slain, and uh, here lies the passage to Orsinium. Look at this. To Orsinium, my friends. So it begins. Let us enter. Oh my, here we are. Look at this. We're in some kind of valley, canyon leading to, I guess, Orsinium, the city state. With three orcs. It's quite dark here, actually, so I might set up camp before I head on out and I uh, want to boil that water anyway. Oh, well, my friend's not coming with me. Oh, I'm sure I can get them to come with me. Let's um, set a fire up here, shall we? Let's first cut some trees down, shall we? Oh, the music has changed as well. Look at this. like the the music. Right, let's harvest wood. Harvest firewood. I feel chilly. That's okay. We'll set up fire in a minute. I need, I need more wood than that. Harvest firewood. No, but that's more like it. Right. Oh, it's getting very dark now. I can't. I can barely see. Right. Let's um, set up camp here, shall we? A humble little campfire. I think here we'll do. Oh, can I place you there, please, campfire? Oh, my guy's stomach is rumbling. I need to eat. Right, fire there. Right. Let us <coughs> add firewood. Boom. There we are. Okay. It's still very dark, but let's let's rest here, shall we? I'm, getting, I'm yawning as well. <laughs> Like a, a big orc yawn. Let's lay down our bedroll, shall we? Oh, we've got our cooking pot as well, of course. Let's uh, boil our water. We don't want to forget to do that. We'll place the cooking pot down this way so we can lay our, our bedroll. Please place cooking pot, please, I beg you. There we are. Place cooking pot. Very good. And then bedroll. Drop. Unfurl. Okay, a bit, bit too close to the fire, but it will do, I guess. <laughs> a bit glitched, but that's fine. Quickly boil my water. What have we got here? We've got our water. There we are. Let's do that. Let's do that. Another. And another. We've got four water skins. Now, finally, we began in Dushnik Yarl with no, with no water skin. And then we ended with water skins at Dushnik Yarl yet again. Look at that. It all comes to it's all full circle, friends. Now we're in Orsinium. It's very dark. I'm probably going to wait until morning before we head on out. Actually, let's sleep until morning, shall we? Oh, there it's morning. I'm very thirsty and very hungry, but... Oh, I've got disease as well on me. Oh, my. What disease have I got? My, my fire's now mere embers. But l luckily, we can see now. Now we've opened our eyes. We can see a lush valley indeed. But this is for next episode, my friends. For now, I leave you here. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. In the next episode, we journey into Orsinium and see what friends we can find. Hopefully more brethren that we can bring back to Skyrim with us. Join our stronghold. So yeah, for now I leave you here. Your viewership is always appreciated and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.